So we're in Stockton on Tees in the northeast of England. And we're looking to do an audit of Stockton on Tees Borough Council's headquarters. So let's see how that goes. Assuming the weather holds up, that is. This is interesting little uh, series of sculptures here. <clears throat> they're whippets. And I think this, I'm not entirely sure, but I think the reason they've been put up here is because of the connection uh, with whippets rearing and maybe racing in this area. I mean, they used to be, if, I'm, if I recall this correctly, there used to be a whippet racing ground near here uh, in a part of Stockton called Tylery. Uh, I once visited there a couple of times. Uh, my, my ex from Germany, she used to love it. She thought it was really a really quirky, a quirky thing. So yeah, it's interesting to see this here. A sort of commemoration of the local history of the place. It'd be interesting to know actually whether they still have uh, sort of whippet races in this area. So it's quite a bit of foliage here. It's nice to see a bit of greenery. It's, it's a pleasant contrast to the uh, to the otherwise brutalist Stalinist architecture. <clears throat> oh, here's a bike shed. That's interesting. I assume it's a bike shed. This what look like mock spokes and wheels. I assume it must be. Ah. <clears throat> what have we got here? Seems to be one of the entrances. Let's have a look here. European competition for towns and villages in bloom. Entente Floral Europe, 2010. Well, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? Given that we're no longer in the EU. So, <clears throat> so we have see here the crest of Stockton-on-Tees 
Borough Council, if we just zoom in there. There we are. Okay. That's more officers there attached. Let's see what we have around the corner. seems to be just a continuation of the same same wing of the building uh, now we've got a Baptist church on the other side <clears throat> for the evangelicals amongst us Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a tickly cough at the moment. Oh. So, I found here. So, this is the back, back of the building. So, <clears throat> it's interesting the stonework here. It's rather slabs. certain engravings on them it would appear designer markings I assume that's not just wear and tear There's a container for for grit. I never noticed that before. Yeah. On this side, we have stopped and swimming baths, which I think, judging from the style of construction must be a relatively new addition to the town. So oh, here we have the main customer entrance uh, for citizens of Stockton on Tees. Is this actually open? Yes, it would appear. It would appear to be open. Opening hours Monday, uh, 8:30 to 6 p.m. So here we have a defibr uh, defibrillator, if I can say the word. Which I think is actually quite a useful addition to city centres these days. Um, you never know when you might need one. It's good to have a. It's. Uh, let's just hope that there are people tasked with being able to use them inside. Right. That would be my concern. 
compass. I'm not sure I would be able to use one. Pretty sure I wouldn't, in fact. So. It's homeless contact information. Nice big tree here. Look at that. Massive. As I said, it's nice to see a bit of foliage around. It's most welcome. So you don't always have that in town and city centres. It's uh, very nice. here. Stockton Parish Church. I think I assume that's the back entrance. Bunzel, it's a company that's been around for a few years. Paper Packaging, I believe, is, their, is the name of their game. It's interesting street maps. A little bit oversized for my liking. Here, see what we can see, see what we can see. Sort of think of this as the old part of town, the Altstadt, if you will. There's not really much of it to speak of, but uh, the nearest you'll get to it. There's a few warrens and alleyways further up the high street, if anybody's interested in exploring them. Uh, but it's mostly rather kitschy boutiques and that sort of thing. It's not really my cup of tea. Pleasant to sit here when the sun's out, especially early in the morning. There's a few guys over there, it seems to be their favourite spot. They like to sit on the 19th century tombstones and have a have a can of brew or two. It's perfectly fine. Mosey down here.
do we have here? Images are recorded for the purpose of crime prevention and public safety. Recordings automatically delete after 30 days. It's nice to know they're watching us, isn't it? It's a lovely feeling. So, so, so far the audit has progressed, I think, quite well. I mean, there was a what looked like a security operative um, who did come out and he looked like he was going to approach me, um, but then turned back and headed back in. Now, whether that was because he saw I was in possession of a camera, I don't know, but that was uh, a little bit curious. But other than that, no, it's uh, so far so good, I think. It's, uh, no grounds for complaint. No. Ah, this is something I missed here. The signage. Old style. It's quite pleasant. I don't really like mock old style signage though, I prefer the original. I don't like anything that's try hard and artificial, that's um, when it comes to this sort of thing. So. Uh. so upstairs we see there's room for the internet for people who wish to use the internet I think it's just an internet suite and there may also be a cafe upstairs as well all of the uh, book borrowing services I think that's on that's on the downstairs floor although I may be wrong from what I remember it was only on the downstairs floor Here, on this side, these look like, um, I was going to say Georgian homes, but they look like mock Georgian architecture, although I could be wrong, who knows how old they are, they certainly look like they've been given a, given a, a refit at some point or other. And here, across the way, this is also quite a new addition. This is, uh, what you can see there, the Hampton Hotel. Hampton Hilton, excuse me. So, I think that's been up for around 10 years or so. It's never been in there myself. Don't particularly care to. I assume it's probably just for people visiting. Staying here a couple of nights and then, and then moving on out of town. So, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll head back, we'll have another, we'll loop round, back to the entrance, and assuming it proceeds incident free, we'll, we'll draw a halt to it there. Oh, we might be able to get, we might be able to get a little, uh, a little view in here. I think this is a public area here. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes. There's a reception. A reception area. Some nice seating, I can see there. It's rather comfortable. It actually looks much more pleasant from the inside than from the outside. I see a plaque here. Let's have a look. Let's 
It's hard to read that name. This foundation stone was laid on Thursday, the 22nd of October, 1959, by Alderman Charles William Allison, GBE, JP, that must be Justice of the Peace, Chairman of the Parliamentary Finance and General Purposes Committee of the Council and a member of the Council since 1918. Okay, here we just have some some bumps that looks to be, I don't know whether it's going to be collected or disposed of. Uh, so, I think there's actually a quite a pleasant courtyard in there, from what I remember. I think from the library there's a, there's a view to a waterfall on the interior, but um, well, there was quite a few years ago, last time I was in there. Uh, oh, I'm getting stiff now. In my old age. So, it will get a bit of view from across the road. A little bit more, more of a panoramic view here. Let's have a look. So from the top, oh yes, there's the CCTV right at the top, the cherry on the cake. 